Natalie Weaver is here with us today to stand up for her daughter and every other American who is facing the threat of having their health care ripped away from them. Please welcome Natalie Weaver. Hi, everyone. My name is Natalie Weaver. I am a wife, mother to three beautiful children, co-founder of Advocates for Medically Fragile Kids NC, and like all of you, I am a fighter. Thanks. I am honored to share my story with you today. In the blink of an eye, anyone's life can change at any moment, just like ours did. I always wanted to be a mom, so when my husband and I found out we were expecting our first child, we were thrilled. We had no reason to ever believe that our lives would be anything other than typical. But that all changed. During an ultrasound at 34 weeks, our world came crashing down. We learned something might be seriously wrong with our baby. We were immediately rushed to see a specialist. It was then that two doctors spent two terrifying hours carefully examining Sophia through an ultrasound. I will never forget the moment I was told my daughter's mouth, hands, and feet were severely deformed and that she may not even survive after birth. I felt, sorry, I will never, ever forget that moment. Sophia's birth was the exact moment our lives changed forever. She was immediately whisked away to the other side of the delivery room. I felt helpless while the many doctors and nurses worked on her. Is she okay? Is she okay? I asked again and again, hopeful that they were wrong but no one would answer. Miraculously, Sophia was breathing on her own, and when they laid her on my chest, a voice in my head said, comfort her. You need to comfort her. I was in shock as my little girl stared into my eyes. The moment I reached out to touch her, she was gone, taken away for testing. I didn't know if I would ever see her alive ever again. I saw her again later that evening in the NICU. I held her in my arms for the very first time and I began to sob. It was a moment of truth. I could let the pain and fear destroy me or I could fight and I chose to fight. I've been fighting for Sophia's life for nearly nine years now. During that time, Sophia's had 21 surgeries, countless hospitalizations, and several brushes with death. Rett syndrome has robbed her of the ability to walk, talk, and do things for herself. It makes breathing and swallowing a struggle. Sophia has daily pain, seizures, tremors, as well as type 1 diabetes and an immune deficiency. She requires around-the-clock care because her many issues leave her at a high risk for sudden death. Every day I hold Sophia and wonder if today will be her last. When she struggles to breathe or has a seizure, I ask myself, is this going to be the thing that takes my sweet baby's life away? I have learned to live with it, but it's on my mind every single day. I have learned to fight through the most paralyzing pain and fear, and in doing so, I have become Sophia's voice and advocate. The one thing we've never had to worry about is whether or not Sophia will receive the life-saving medical care she needs. 
The ACA passed a year after Sophia's birth, and for our family, that meant our insurance company could not drop her, as she would have really reached her lifetime maximum before her second birthday. Despite having private insurance, we soon realized that we wouldn't be able to keep up with Sophia's expansive and costly medical needs. When she was two years old, she received Medicaid as a secondary insurance through a program called Home and Community-Based Services. Yes. Medicaid covers the many costs that our private insurance won't, such as life-saving medications, medical equipment that allows her to live at home with her family, and the many remaining costs of surgeries and hospitalizations. It provides nursing assistance so we can do things that most people don't even have to think twice about, like sleeping through the night and taking our two other children outside to play. Without this program and the ACA, we would have two horrible options, to institutionalize Sophia or go bankrupt while trying to keep her alive. Both options would eventually lead to her death. Though Sophia is the only one with Medicaid in our family, it saves all of our lives. When I heard the news about our government proposing to repeal the ACA and reduce Medicaid's federal funding, my world came crashing down again. I wondered, is this going to be the thing that takes my sweet baby's life away? I felt the fear and panic heavy on my soul. There it was, another moment of truth. I could let the anger and fear destroy me, or I could fight. Once again, I chose to fight. And in that moment, a fierce, tireless, and relentless advocate was born. I realized that not only was I fighting for Sophia, but I was fighting for the many families and children like ours who could not fight. I never imagined that I would ever have to fight against politicians and lobbyists like one of Sophia's debilitating diseases. It is heartbreaking to have to fight to convince another human being that your child's life is worth saving. Sophia is the type of person I strive to be. Despite her many struggles, she is a fighter. She is the strongest and most inspiring human being I know. The power of her love, life, and spirit are breathtaking and life-changing. Sophia has led me down a path of life I didn't know existed. For her, the other children like her, I will stay the course and speak up for my daughter who can no longer speak for herself. I will fight for Sophia's life until her very last breath. Human life is worth so much more than a tax break. Please continue to fight with me to protect the ACA and the life-saving benefits that Medicaid offers to millions of families. Yesterday was a relief for us, but we know this fight is far from over. We need you to take this win and continue to make your voices heard. Thank you. Thank you, Natalie and Sophia and, and all the other people who have spoken here today. Um, am I? Yes. Okay. Sorry. A little flustered um, by all these powerful stories. I just want to thank everyone again for speaking here today and having the courage to advocate on behalf of this. For sharing your stories. We know it's not easy to share your vulnerabilities and your pain and your fears.